hello everyone and welcome to my channel i'm timmy if it's your first time here welcome to this amazing channel today i'm going to be listing the items or the important documents you need for your master's application the important documents you need for your master's application master's application into the united kingdom so if that sounds like something you're interested in make sure you keep on watching <laughs> The reason why I'm repeating master's application is because it's different from visa application. I'm coming, let me turn on the lights. So your master's application is different from visa application. I'm not mentioning anything that has to do with visa here. What I'm mentioning is master's application. How to, like the documents you need to apply to a school. If that, you know, is clear already, we can start listing them. So I've written them down here because I do not want to forget anyone because every single one of them is important. So first things first, if you're applying for your master's, you need to obviously have a BSc. So you need to show your BSc certificate or your transcript. Most of the time, they ask for both, especially if you graduated with like a first class or with a 2-1, they will ask you for your transcript, not all the time, but mostly first class they will ask you for your transcript because they want to see the pattern of how you were able to accumulate your grades and how you came about you know graduating with the first class so your transcript will be asked if you um, graduated with the first class if not your um, your school certificates will be sufficient um so if you are from like a federal university that you know it takes a long time for you to get your certificate and get your transcript if you are planning on you know applying for masters you need to start like months ahead six months is not too early to start you know looking for your certificate and transcripts so the first um documents you need are your um certificates and your transcripts the second one would be um your WIAC certificate it took me you know applying for school here to realize that WIAC certificate is different from WIAC results I had WIAC results where you can just, you know, go to a cyber cafe and print out your results. That's the one I had. I didn't know a certificate was different. I had to go to WIAC office to go and get a certificate. I just had the print out of my results. That was just my results. I was uploading that one thinking that that was what they requested from me. Meanwhile, that's what, you know, kind of delayed my application somehow somehow that one is another story until i read you need to take your time and read very well especially if you're not applying with an agent if i was applying with an agent obviously he or she would have told me that oh you need a certificate not a result i did all my process myself and i had to take my time read i'm like why are they you know delaying my whatever I had to take my time to read properly and see certificate. I looked at my work results and I'm like, this don't look like certificate. <laughs> this is results. So I googled I googled WIAC results and then I saw the difference because my exam was private. I couldn't go to like the school I did it. I did them um, GCE. I had to go to WIAC office. Thankfully, it's very close to my house. I went to WIAC office, you know, paid a sum of money. I had to go to the bank, waited, and got my certificate. Luckily, it came out fast enough. So, depending on how fast you want it to be, you pay for the days you can afford. So, I got my WIAC certificate. So, the second document you need is your WIAC certificate. Especially, and again, especially if you are not writing IELTS, I mean, there are many schools that admit people into or like give people offer into their universities without IELTS. Google them. There are a lot of them. I'll be listing them shortly again. There are many schools. My own, my own school, they didn't ask me for IELTS. So if you are applying to a school that they are asking you for IELTS, buy, go and write your IELTS. My own school, they didn't ask me for IELTS. They only asked me for my work. Um, English results, a minimum of C6, and I had a B, so that was sufficient. The next document you'll be needing is a referral letter. The referral letter will be from, you need to, from your employer and from your um, school. So I got a doctor in my school who lectured me back in Covenant University to write like a referral saying he knows me, he has taught me before, my character and so on and so forth. So he wrote that for me and I uploaded that. I also had where I was working, I asked my supervisor to write a referral letter for me. She did that also and I uploaded that. So you will need two referrals, 
one employee one from your employer and one from your school it doesn't necessarily have to be like a top person in your school it can just be your lecturer somebody that knows you from your school and it also has to be like with letterhead and the person's signature has to be there so that's the most important thing the next document you need is your curriculum vitae or cur curriculum vitae yes your cv you will need your cv because they want to see what you've been doing so far and how you've come about the you know idea to want to study for your masters probably your experience also and so on and so forth then you will need um you need to write a statement of purpose this is not a document but you are the one who is going to sit down think about why you want to study the course you have chosen what is going to you know do in your life you know just talking about the reason why you really want to study that course sit down think properly you know it's not that hard statement of purpose is like the list of things you do when you get here you see proper assessment and re uh, and reports to write so today statement of purpose is not you know it's not a big deal sit down think you'll be able to write it in like 31 hour 30 minutes one hour think about it you'll be able to come up with something that is not a a document you have to like write it on your own some allow you write it on their site there and there some you have to write it in pdf sorry in word documents convert it to pdf then upload depends on the school you are um applying for on and this is for the married couples or married people if you are coming in as a you know couple you're coming with your wife or you're coming with your husband you will have to provide your marriage certificate that means you have to have done court wedding if you've done customary wedding i'm not sure um the documents will be asking you for or, or if it will suffice if any documents for customary wedding will suffice the document they ask for is marriage certificate and marriage certificate is going to come from the um, court when you do your court wedding in nigeria if you are coming in with your children you have to get their um, certificate their birth certificate showing that you are the parents of the children and of course you have to have gotten their passports too so those are the documents you'll be needing for your master's application these are the ones that are very crucial and that i can remember now that i am sure they are very very crucial i mean most of these things if you have them you are good to go if you don't have any of them and you are planning on applying for masters later this september or next year january you can start now it's not too early honestly it's not too early to start looking for those documents please start now start you know piling up your documents together if i remember anyone again i'll definitely definitely leave them in the description box down below if it's your first time here and you enjoy video videos like this and you want me to film more guess what you have to do just subscribe that is all <laughs> subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up if you have other videos video ideas you want me to film i'll be more than glad to do that please make sure you mention them in the comment section down below and i'll be sure to film them thanks so much for coming and feel free to check out my other videos i'll see you in the next one Bye.